Is it time to buy or sell AT&T stock? In this video, we're diving deep into AT&T. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, May 22, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 22, 2023, our system has ranked AT&T as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.76. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has had natural fluctuations, but currently sits at a loss of 0% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $16.27 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 10.82% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 11.41% and 3.17%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 5.42% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 19.55% and 15.77%. This translates to a price range of $13.18 to $18.96 after a year. Our latest daily update for AT&T includes the headline, AT&T stock upgraded from sell candidate to hold slash accumulate after Monday trading session. The AT&T stock price gained 0.429% on the last trading day, Monday, May 22, 2023, rising from $16.31 to $16.38. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.67% from a day low at $16.16 .16 to a day high of $16.43. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 4.32% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 10 million shares and in total, 37 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $605.81 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $22.84, and the lowest price was $14.46. Currently, the price is 28.28%, or $6.46, below the 52-week high, and 71.81%, or $41.73, below the all-time high on July 5, 2016, when the price reached $58.11. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Monday, April 25, 2022, RBC Capital set a price target of 20. On Monday, April 25, 2022, RBC Capital set a price target of 20. On Tuesday, January 25, 2022, Bank of America Securities set a price target of 36. On Tuesday, January 25, 2022, Bank of America Securities set a price target of 36. Analysts have given AT&T stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for AT&T. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, May 19, 2023, and so far it has risen 0.429%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. 
The AT and T stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $16.63 and $18.01. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal two days ago. Bollinger, by signal two days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 18 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 24 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 21 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 25 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 24 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 20 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for AT&T A10 defines support from accumulated volume at $16.31 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $0.270, 1.67%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.87%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for AT&T, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 19, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.600. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for AT&T. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for AT&T is at $17.65. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, AT&T encounters its first support level at $16.31. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for AT&T from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 18, 2023, Arroyo F. Thaddeus conducted an insider buy of 60,422 shares of common stock. On April 28, 2023, Ubinas Luis A conducted an insider buy of 3,385,065 shares of deferred stock units. On April 28, 2023, Taylor Cindy B conducted an insider buy of 18,239,418 shares of deferred stock units. On April 28, 2023, Rose Matthew K. conducted an insider buy of 36,321,672 shares of deferred stock units. On April 28, 2023, McAllister Michael B. conducted an insider buy of 15,588,601 shares of deferred stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 3.150. Overall, insiders purchased 1,268,915 shares and sold 1,188,619 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $15.44, minus 5.74%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found one day ago.
Is AT&T stock a good buy? AT&T holds several negative signals and this should be a sell candidate, but due to the general chance for a turnaround situation it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, May 23rd, we expect AT&T to open down $0.0567 and start trading at $16.32. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.